Thank you for coming to the show. We're the Hudson Vagabond Puppets, and that was Snow Queen. Did everyone enjoy the show today? Good. We're so glad because we enjoyed performing for you. Uh, this is Kay. Did everybody meet Kay? Yeah. Give him a round of applause. Because then you're giving me a round of applause. I'm Jeff, and uh, we've got puppeteers. This is Rick out here with the goose. So uh, Rick made the geese fly. Rick was also the crow. Um, the crow costume, yeah. And so, did you guys notice there's a lot more than just, there's only five puppeteers. It's me, Rick, we've got Emily. Emily played Gerda. And we have Natalie and Kevin. So this is everyone. So there's five puppeteers total, but did you guys notice there's a lot more than five characters in the show? Yeah. Yeah, so we all doubled up, tripled up, fourpled up. We play lots of things, so it's a lot of fun. And um, this right here is Kay, he's a rod puppet. So basically what happens is I'm wearing this uh, flagpole harness, and that's what we use for the Snow Queen, the giant Snow Queen and the Devil, which are about 10 feet tall. We, it's, they're operated by one person. We put the base of the rod into our flagpole, and then we use our brutal strength to lift it and make it look like it's walking with our feet. This is the same idea with these smaller puppets. We put our feet inside their feet. Yeah, oh, applause for the little kid. Yeah, he's a real star. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, and then, um, so we have our feet in here, and then there's a little hole in the back. Don't be scared. Um, and that operates the rod, which goes up and through the head, which makes us look right and left and right and up and down. So basically, we control the head. Um, sometimes with rod puppets, there'll be also a little maneuver that could help uh, manipulate the mouth. So we could control the mouth through the rod also. Um, with this puppet, since there was a narrator in this story, it was all done with narration, so we were just focused on the movement. And then also, we um, want to grab my mic. Hot mic. We put a hand, with these puppets, we put a hand into the hand. So one of our hands is one hand, and then every once in a while, we'd have another uh, Bunraku character come on, and through choreography and through lots of rehearsals and practice, we will synchronize the hands. Not very good right now. Uh, my hand's not all the way inside of it. And uh, that operates the puppets. So does anyone know why we're wearing all black? Maybe down here in the front? Why we might be wearing all black? Yeah, over here. Me? Yeah, yeah, you. I think, I think because so, so no one will see your face. Yeah, very good, we're wearing all black because we're ninjas! Hiya! Good answer. Yeah. She's like, no, that's not what I said. She's very smart. What she said is actually we wear black so that you don't see us. And um, this background is, a, sometimes we have a black background, which helps, but this is a fun scrim. But it is, it's so that you, the focus goes, we disappear, the focus goes onto the puppets rather than the performer. Because if my face was out, it would be all you'd be looking at if you know what I mean. And, so great, and uh, what else do we have? We have Mask in the show, and, um, oh yeah, Natalie. So yeah, Mask or General, we just have a, the fun, yeah, look at this, yeah, this section over here loves everybody. And I, um, the Mask or General, we just kind of have the little fun characters going on, and then we have the, the big rod puppets, the Snow Queen and the Devil, which is 10 feet tall, really exciting, and it, the scale of them is a lot bigger than it might look from the back of the house. They're very large.